Just kidding. It's a candle. You know, most people say it's the time of the month, but no one really say it's the time of the year where you literally get shocked by everything. Anyway, hello, my name is Denisha and today we're going to be doing another painting and this time it's going to be on a thrifted canvas. Also, I didn't know where to put my mic because if I did put it here, I think I'll be yelling into the mic. So <laughs> I just kind of pinned it in here. So hopefully you don't mind that. I want to still sound good in my videos so that's why i got this and yeah i i am also like layered up because one of the thing that you probably don't realize or maybe you do is even if this studio is beautiful and bring a lot of light it also has no insulation clearly so when it's hot i'm dying out of heat and when it's cold i get really cold I got this Canva, or Canvas, I don't know how to say it. Well, it still has the tag for $2.99. I haven't really painted on a wood panel before and I didn't want to end up buying a new one. So I was walking around a thrift store and I saw this. So yesterday I did prime it. There was a sketch on it before. Although the sketch was really beautiful, I kind of just wanted to repurpose it and just have fun painting on different surfaces. So yeah, let's just have fun and see what we can create for it. The painting I'm about to do is actually from one of my dreams. I vaguely remember a weeping willow on a hill, but I got the full picture in my mind when I was on the road and saw a tree on top of a hill, just like my dream, and that's when I decided to paint it. As you saw, I did a quick sketch to figure out the thumbnail, and then I went straight into painting. Adding the sky was pretty simple, but I knew once it'll be time to do the clouds, I might struggle a bit, but I really wanted to paint clouds because I felt like for the past few weeks, all I've been painting was grass. <laughs> it'll make sense if you watch my last video. So I wanted to break it a little bit by focusing on something different to paint. Well, I know there'll be grass in this painting as well, but it will be on a much smaller scale, so way more manageable. As for the clouds, I don't have much to say other than I was having so much fun building the shapes and adding the layers and highlights on the right side to show where the sunlight was coming from. As I'm painting this, does it make you think of something familiar? Well, 
if you've seen my neighbor Totoro, you'd say yes. <laughs> so basically, while painting, I realized my dream was basically an inspiration from a scene from the movie Totoro, except I saw a willow since I've been kind of obsessed with these beautiful trees lately. Why did I just realize now that I was kind of following this scene from Totoro? Well, I still love that through painting, I was able to interpret what my dream was about and why I even dream it in the first place. But also, it made me create a landscape that I would love to be there in person. Anyway, before I moved on with other details, I did go back to the clouds and try reshaping them so they don't look exactly like the scene, since I wanted this painting to be my own. Once I added some details on the grass, I went straight into painting the willow. I did make it smaller initially, but later I will increase the size as well. If you've been following me, you know I've been trying to learn how to paint willows and I was a bit scared to ruin this one. So after putting in the first layer, I decided to take a break and do something fun before I complete the painting. Just kidding. It's a candle. <laughs> I have been making this joke for the last two weeks. I will not be stopped. Anyway, as you can see in front of me, I have a bunch of stuff that I don't know how to use, but we'll figure it out together. Since it's been gloomy, I've been wanting to burn candles, but also there's a part of me that want to save up to the cute candles, so I don't know if you like me, I keep going through the loop of buying cute candle and then never using it because they're too cute. <laughs> so my solution to that would be buying the candle molds and making my candles so once I burn through them, I'll just use the mold to make new ones. As for the ingredients, we have soy wax to melt to make the candle and then we have four molds that I'm going to show you later on what it's going to look like. And we have different sizes of wicks to put in the candle to burn. And finally, some clips to hold in the wick while we're pouring in the wax. Okay, I tried talking while opening the molds, but the plastic was probably making too much noise. So yeah, I'm excited for these molds. The one I am most excited about is this one, which is like the Greek statues, the column basically. I'll insert a picture of what it's supposed to look like. So I got the mold for that and I think this one is also um, another column. This one is like a full body Greek statue. We'll see how they turn out because this is my first time doing it. And this one I had, I don't remember. It's like waves. Is that supposed to be a rose? Also, one of the frustrating part about this was one of the mold already had a cut, but the column and statues didn't have one and I didn't know how I would open it. So I made a cut similarly and I was thinking I'm going to use an elastic to hold it in place when I pour the wax. So hopefully that works. <music> I'm getting very confused while doing it, but I got a bunch of elastic, which I'm just going to hold this in place first and then we'll go from there. I should have probably done that first. <laughs> okay, if you know how to make candles, please bear with me as I learn along the way. I know I'm making mistakes, but I'm learning from it. So for the wax, it said that you can microwave it, but just do 30 second increments. So I'm going to do that. Let's give it a try. I'm 
moment of truth. A few moments later. It's done. Why did I use a mug? Why did I use a mug? I made a huge mess. I think I just need a better thing to pour it out of. So I'm going to try to figure that out off camera and then we'll unbox it together. Oh, also. In the next one, I'm going to try putting some of the essence I got as a gift, so I'll tell you if that works. A few years later. I got the candles. Well, I just took them out of the freezer because I heard that it might help with opening it because I made a lot of mess up there. Don't even ask me how long it took me to scrape all that soil wax. But we're here now and let's have some fun. The first candle, which actually had the thickest mold, was super easy to take out and it came out in a perfect shape. But the rest, as you'll see, because the mold is so thin, it just didn't come out perfectly and part of it did break. But I still really enjoyed how they look. I thought it would be way worse than I expected, so I'm really happy on how it turned out. I think this was a success. My favorite, of course, is this, oh my gosh, in comparison to my face, is this uh, David, David, David statue. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but I'll give you a close-up shot tomorrow when I light it up again. I just turned it off because I wanna get some better pictures during the day, but so far this one was really fun to make and the mold was actually way better and thicker so it was super easy to make that one and i read some reviews saying that the neck broke for them but for me this was the best one and for the columns this one came pretty straight but um i can still tell where the elastic was so i gotta figure out maybe i could put them all in like an ice bath and then if the wax wants to pull out of it it won't be able to as long as i am and then i won't have to use like too many elastics and yeah this one is very clear what happened to it you can tell where the elastic was uh tugging at it and i kind of broke the top part as well but it's cute it's cute i like it quick note from editing denisha i think next time i'm gonna try using tape instead of elastic to see if it doesn't ruin the shape the final one i'm being very careful holding it because again the elastic was the culprit that it got way too thin so this bottom one is kind of threatening to break but it's not because the wick is kind of holding it together and that's why this one the neck the neck also is still holding on because it's pretty much snapped off although <laughs> I burned the candle so it already flew on her face but I don't mind you know why because I can make more <laughs> gone all the days I would be too scared to burn cute candles because I'll have to buy more <laughs>
even know how fast I ran when I saw the sun come out to first get the picture of the candle and also get back into painting. I think my videos do turn out better when the sun is out. So yeah, I was really happy how the videos turned out and also how the painting turned out. I think adding the highlight on the willow really made it look realistic, but also wispy and whimsical and dreamy, which is what I was going for in this painting. So yeah, let me know what you thought about it as well. Okay, I am finally done with the painting. What do you think? <laughs> I am so happy I was able to paint something out of my imagination. I did have to use a couple of references here and there to kind of understand how the willow works, how shadows hit it. And I just also enjoy doing the clouds. I've done a cloud similar like this before, but yeah. I was able to enjoy that process and also struggle a little bit with the willow tree but I think it turned out pretty good. If you haven't seen my last video where I was talking about all my 2023 paintings, I was talking about this one. I haven't done this painting on my channel. It's from a painting night with a friend and clearly I was trying to figure out how to paint a willow. <laughs> so this is my initial one and this is the one I attempted again and I'm really happy of the things I've learned when I painted it, I guess I had to try it miniature version to understand how light and shadow fall on it. But yeah, I really like how it turned out. Let me know down below what you thought about it and I will see you on Saturday. Allez, bye! Is even if this studio is beautiful and bring a lot of light. Okay, won't be too bright. <laughs> well, you are standing in the kitchen. I'm looking for the kitchen. What? That's too... No. No, I love my camera. I would never fry you.